Well, when it comes to weight loss, intermittent fasting, where you restrict your eating to certain times, has really become a pretty popular health trend in recent years. And while many people have found that it actually works for them, new research suggests it's not only about timing. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with some food for thought for fans of intermittent fasting. Doc? Well, you know, Pam and Karen, there actually is research suggesting the timing of meals throughout, throughout the day with intermittent fasting can help regulate metabolic function and ultimately reduce body weight. But it's not clear how easily people can maintain that change for the long term or if other changes might be just as effective. Well, now a new study suggests there may be another way. The benefit to intermittent fasting is it makes people pay attention to when they're eating and bring some awareness about timing of eating. And that's a large part of why intermittent fasting is successful, says Sarah Chapel, a registered dietitian at Henry Ford Health. If people are doing intermittent fasting and they're not eating after dinner, that's going to prevent some of that late night boredom, snacking, the chips, the pretzels, the popcorn, the ice cream, the binge TV. The However, a study released today in the Journal of the American Heart Association that looked at the effect of meal timing on nearly 550 people using the Daily 24 mobile app specifically designed to record meal times, sleep times, and meal size, found eating less overall and eating fewer large meals was more important than restricting meals to a narrow time window, as with intermittent fasting. The study has suggested eating smaller meals that are lower in calories, and we know that overall that, that makes more sense, right, to eat balanced eating and not eating necessarily two o'clock, but more to our internal hunger cues. Overall, if we, if we cut back on calories, we're going to see some changes in weight. So I think that's really the underlying, you know, that's, that's the underlying piece to this. So the bottom line here is this is not to say that intermittent fasting doesn't work for some people, but one of the main ways that it probably helps is by getting you to pay more attention to when and what you eat and limiting your eating to certain times effectively causes you to eat less. So this study suggests simply eating less overall, regardless of the time of the day, is basically going to get you to the same place. All right, Doc, so the dietitian there was talking about smaller meals, but how yeah. small are we talking? Well, so in this study, small was actually considered 500 calories. So overall, they found, in fact, many people were eating more than a thousand calories a meal. Mm. So in fact, it does boil down to simply eating way smaller meals as well. Mm. My Starbucks and egg bites are 500. Oh yeah, that's so a lot. that's not really good. Vegetables, right? you just fewer <laughs> pacing yourself. Moderation. <laughs> Those are my words. All right, thank you, Doc. We appreciate it. All right, thanks, Doc.